Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of the Baltic Village map series. Now in my first part and the video where I was looking around the map to begin with I didn't show this area of the map and that was a bit of a mistake. So I think it's time to show you it now and this is actually the forestry area. So these trees can all be cut down with a chainsaw and you can use your forestry machinery to cut all these up and transport them back to the forestry yard. Um, so you can do plenty of logging here and the end of the map is actually here and it's cleverly done by a tree which is either blown down in the wind or rotted away or something and it blocks the road and that's a good end to the map. Um, it's quite discreet so I quite like that and if you go up here just on the right I can't remember how far up it is um, where's it gone just here You've got this really deep rut, which you've got to be careful, you've got to actually stay in the ruts, otherwise you can get stuck. And if you go up here, yeah, you can probably tell these ruts are pretty deep. If you go up here, you've got all your, your logs all stacked up. A nice area of the map, and I apologise for not featuring this in my tour video, which was before this video series. Anyway, today we're going to be doing some harvesting and I got a few requests in my previous video so thanks to those people who suggested something to do because I always find it quite hard to think of stuff and I got harvesting and I also got silaging so I think I'm going to start with the harvesting and then tomorrow we'll be doing a bit of silaging with the crone now I've also installed course play I've never used it before so I'm going to have an attempt at setting that up if of course I don't get it going then I'm sure you'll be screaming at the screaming at your own screen um, shouting what to do <laughs> although it will be a bit late by then but this tractor here I'm hoping to put onto course play um, and we've got the settings here this is the area where I'm going to get keep it to stay and I want the tractor to stay here and I also want the combi empty combine and offload which is this one and I want my tractor to come to the combine, unload it, and then take it to our selling point, which is the transport yard or something, I can't remember what they call it on this map. Um, so to begin with, I think I need to set the search, or the combine, to, not the crone, but the CR1090, which is our new Holland, which is up at the main yard. Um, also, there will be the course that we have to set so I think if I I might be actually in the wrong position at the moment I think if I turn it round then it might stop it from being quite so confused now I'm not sure how far into development the course play is I don't know if it's glitchy or not it may well be but I'm gonna give it a go I may do something wrong though because like I say I've never used it I'm pretty much just guessing what to do here. So this is obviously the field I'm going to do, it's going to be corn and I'm guessing I have to start the course recording. Um, so it looks to be mapping it out. So if I drive this route, hopefully it's going to work. Now if I've already done something wrong I'm sure all of you that know how to use it will already be laughing at me. Um, but like I do, like I say, I have never done it, so I may have done something wrong. I'm purely guessing what to do here. So if I take this to the selling point, it should, if I do it properly, it should drive itself there. It should unload it. It should sell it, and then it should drive back to the combine to unload it again that's if it all goes to plan. Um, also it means that we have to have a good turning circle otherwise it's going to crash and get stuck. Now I think there is a message that comes up which lets you know if you've got stuck, if it's got stuck. Hopefully there is. And hopefully it will be able to drive its way back without crashing. You can see it's drawing the route so hopefully it's all going to work properly. Well, I think it's 
think it actually does follow the route which you do exactly so if I crash it's going to crash so got to do it properly this is purely a test and I'll do it better next time because I've done it before it also makes me think if I need to get my corn header I'm not sure if I've got one might have to buy one so I think I just literally put it here and then stop um, and I'm guessing that will work I'm hoping that will work uh, so I think actually if I put my combine settings to I think there is a setting where's it gone here we go start at 50% um, I think that's the, the percent that the combine is at when it starts to drive over to you so probably 65 or 70 drive on at 95 don't really want it to be set to 100 and then save New Holland tractor combine to selling point or to selling or something sell combine to sell actually don't really want to put a gap in there that should do quite a long name but I'm hoping it's going to work. So, that's all ready. It's all running. There's some chap in there. So now if I get my combine... <laughs> too many machines. And put our header on it I've just noticed it's going to go dark so I don't want that ok so we've only got that header which means we're going to have to buy one um, we'll put this one on it and we probably need a trailer as well Okay, so I'm going to take the combine to the field and then I'll have to grab a tractor to get the header. Actually, no, I can't. I need to get the combine with the header. The tractor can't pick the header up. So we'll take the combine to the header and get that all fitted up and put it on the trailer. Right, I've got the header on. Clearly, we did not need a trailer. It's a fold-up one. Completely forgot about that. So that's good really because I don't have to mess around having to attach the header and putting that on the trailer. The only issue is we're taking up the whole road so luckily there's no other traffic. Okay so off to the field and let's get a bit of ha harvesting done and hopefully the course play is going to work if it all goes well. Now you can't see it at the moment but it does actually show up the course play thing on the map. I don't know if it works on the big map. Oh, it does even tells you the tractor number and our course name the NH tractor combined to sell so hopefully this all works well fingers crossed if not then I'll have to look a bit more into it right let's get this thing unfolded Quite a big machine actually, this one. Much bigger than stuff I've used in the past. Let's get going. Now, um, I'm going to have to go this way around. Otherwise the pipe will be on the wrong side. 
but I'm hoping that when we get to 70%, so you can watch it in the bottom right hand corner, when it gets to 70 that tractor should move, it should come and empty us. That's if it all goes to plan. And I love the new feeding that they've implemented into the game. So realistic. I haven't done too much corn actually on this game. I've not really harvested too much. I usually silage it, which we will be doing tomorrow. But since I've wanted harvest and I wanted to try out the course play, I thought probably the best option was to do the harvest first and then move on to the silaging. But don't worry, I'll be doing it all. And any more suggestions from anyone? And I'll definitely consider doing those as well. I'm trying to do one of each thing, I don't really want to repeat something I've already done. So I don't really want to do any more mowing on this map. I'm trying to do different things every time. That keeps it fresh and interesting. I've got some canola over there, which can be harvested at some point if anyone's interested in that. Uh, so, keeping an eye on 36%. Don't want to miss any. I am really, really interested to see if it's going to come in empties. That actually looks more than 36% full. Or 41 now. Hopefully we don't get full at this end. It's a bit narrow for a tractor and trailer. I don't know if it's got a range of working. If we go too far away, I don't know if it will not come and empty us or not. Or if it covers the entire map. It would be good if it did. But I suppose there is a possibility that if we're too far away it won't come. But I think it should do because it's programmed to this specific combine. So it shouldn't be an issue. Of course we're not going to see it start moving. And thinking about it, 70% may have been too high if it's got a long way to drive we'll be full by the time it's ready by the time it's got to us but another five percent and it should be here well setting off anyway we can watch it on the minimap actually see if it starts to move you'll have to turn round should be moving now looks to be moving it is, it's moving. Which way is it coming from? Is it navigating the yard? Wow, that would be impressive. Where is it? Where is it coming Oh. Oh dear. It's crashed. But it did start moving. So, we'll give it that. Yes, it's... Uh, we've got an error. It's slipping. That must be because it's crashed into that. In fact, if that hadn't been... Oh, I can't get over the barbed wire. If that hadn't been a bit wider... Or if there wasn't a collision on the barbed wire... he would have almost done that. Anyway. We will uh, have to manually bring it round. Um, we've hit something. Yeah, not, not perfect, but uh, not too bad. At least it started to move and it seems to have programmed in alright. But it just can't see the collisions which is a bit unfortunate. It didn't help with the field actually. If it had been a more square field it would have actually done that perfectly. So a very good attempt I have to say. Okay so I've driven it round. This is actually a really bad field to be doing this with. So it wasn't that fair for it. But if I click um, drive course, I'm hoping that's going to come and unload us. Don't crash, please. Wait there, wait there. It's all going horribly wrong. To be fair, it's actually done quite well. 
I haven't got any issues with that really because if we were doing a good size field I mean good shape field um, then it would actually have done that really well I think if we're playing on the original map there wouldn't be any issues at all we'll just have to stop it again I think it's got a bit messed up, so we'll have to take it back to the beginning of the course to reset it I think. So let's continue, I'll have to start it up again, it's back at the beginning of the course so it should do okay next time. I think it really was because we were in the worst position possible for the combine to fail and it meant that it had to try and negotiate the yard which was not really that easy. If we had been about here, it would have probably done okay because it would have just come across. Um, although, having said that, it probably is a wise idea to do the headland first before you set off your course play. Because then at least then it's got somewhere to drive instead of driving through the crops. So I think in the future that's what I'll do. I'll do at least one lap first of the field and then we can get it going. Because we're just going to stumble across that issue again and it will just do it again so this time I don't think there will be an issue except it's driven into a tree so this video really is a bit of uh, trial and error so not highly professional I have to say it's just because I'm trying out this new mod which is actually, first impressions, really, really good. Because it's not only this you can do it with, you can do it with anything, I think, except for the obvious things which are tough to do, like logging. But most of the tasks which you can not normally do with a, a worker, the course player will do for you. So first impressions are actually very good. Because it's actually it's doing this all fine. No problem at all. Look at this. It's doing it very well. Yeah, can't complain about that. Definitely not. So when it gets to 95% full on the trailer, then it will head off to the selling point and it will sell the grain it's got and then it will come back to us hopefully and empty our combine again so now it should be back on track it's had to reset of course and it's now going to wait for us to be full or 70% full and then it will go and unload now this time we're going to just go up and down the field rather than go round that way it's going to empty us on this area here and it won't confuse it Right, so it's actually gone off to unload. You can see on the map there it's actually at the transport company, which is the selling point. Um, we're on 84%, so I've decided to just stop here for now, just because I'm going to be full, and I don't want it to get to 100%, just in case it messes up the course play. But we should be able to see it coming back. It's on its way now. I want to see it follow the route. I'm not sure what the viewing distances are. But if it's got any decency, we should be able to... Hey, there it is, look. Come along the road. So this adds a whole new thing to this game. It's just fantastic. I'm going to get going again. And if it all goes to plan, it should follow us. Oh, where's it going? Come on, follow, follow us up here. Come on. It's moving, but... Not taking a turn yet. There it goes. Just had to pro. You just had to recognise that we were 92% full. I'm not going to let it get to 100. 
We'll have to stop. I can just get it moving while it comes alongside it might unload on the move which should be good right let's go come on keep up missing bits now that's worked really well despite coming off course there I'm not sure what the capacity of that trailer is, but it's, if it's anything similar to this combine, probably two tank loads actually, but if it's anything close, then it'll be emptying again soon. But this is just, well, everyone will be saying this, but it just adds that enjoyment to the game. If you don't have a good enough internet connection for multiplayer, or if you just don't like multiplayer for whatever reason, or you don't have anyone to play with, then the course play does the jobs for you, which is fantastic. And like, if you are like me and you just do not have a good enough internet connection for the multiplayer, then it just adds that bit more to it. Because you can do the harvesting without having to keep swapping from the combine to the tractor. And the good thing is it waits there for you until you're ready to do your next unload. So, brilliant. Just jumped out the combine, put it on autopilot, and course plays over there and now the farm is fully automated and it's actually running itself so I thought I'd just watch this see how smoothly it runs except for the fact that it drives through the crops which I'm sure will be worked on in the future everything has actually run smoothly in the last few minutes and if it wasn't for the beginning, the whole lot would have run smoothly. So that's amazing. Really, really love that mod. I'm sure a great deal of effort has been put into that, because I'm sure a lot of the stuff which is involved with that kind of thing must be very, very complicated to script. So I'm guessing the combine has not filled up the trailer enough yet. 73%. And it was told to go at 95, so one more load. And oh, it's moving itself. Not sure what it's doing. Wow, <laughs> it's got some serious skid on there. Maybe it was just getting as close to the combine as possible. Uh, so yeah, one more load into this, and it'll be heading back. And it tells you there the status. It says waiting until fill level is reached. So... I guess it could be 100%, it's just I don't want to mess it up. So I did set it to 95. So what I'm going to do is wait until that trailer is full um, and we'll be able to see it start moving on the map here. And then I'm going to take this tractor back and hopefully we're going to pass it on the way. Um, now the course I set, I was actually driving in the middle of the road so I'm going to have to pull off to the side to let it go past. Uh, but in the future, when I set its new course, then I'll be able to put it on the right side of the road and traffic will be able to pass it as it should do. And everything should run perfectly. So I'm just going to wait for that to start moving again. Right, so it's moving. It's on the road. So let's take off the map. Navigate these roads. And we should see it somewhere on this road. somewhere, it's on its way and it should turn into this turning here so I'm intrigued to see it do this because I've not actually seen it yet where is it there it is on the mini map you can see it coming it should appear any second probably with its flashing lights on actually There it is. Wow, look at that speed. It's a crazy tractor. I did not take the, I did not do the course that fast. That's crazy. Got a pillar in the way. 
Brilliant. It does the job. It does a fantastic job, in fact, and it's really handy. So it must empty it as well. I've not seen it empty. Fantastic. And then it ju just drives itself back to the stopping point which I set. And hopefully that wasn't too tight, that turning there. Could have been better, but it does it. No problem at all. Might as well follow it back then. He's a quick driver. Didn't even break. I think it just goes flat out. You can actually adjust the speed it can do. Um, the road speed is usually automatic, but you can set the field speed and unload speed and all of that. So yeah, it does the job very well. I think next time I'll set the course so it drives on the right side of the road. Um, actually, it does break. It does a really good job. It's actually really realistic. Except for the power slides it's been doing. And... Um, yeah. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the course play uh, and the harv harvesting, of course, of the corn we've got here. Uh, but tomorrow we'll be doing some silaging, and we may be doing some. In fact, we will be doing the course play again. So, thanks for watching. Look out for that video tomorrow, and yeah, I'll see you then.